uh, convert a digital refrigerator this is a French door LG to a conventional refrigerator so what happened here is uh, I found this refrigerator it's a uh, really nice good looking inside everything works on the light inside it's pretty much complete but it has a, a non-working compressor and non-working board I'm trying to get that back here to show you that's the the board that is not working I'm not willing to pay uh, LG or replace it myself because this board cost over two hundred dollars they're very expensive and it doesn't warranty me to get a fully working refrigerator and also the the compressor here this one is shot is not uh, working so I already tested it and then this one is an inverter uh, compressor so these are uh, expensive too this compressor costs like uh, 250 so 250 plus 200 at least that'll take me in the 450 if I'm lucky but because uh, I have all the tools myself to repair the the gas refrigerant the welding but I'm not willing to so what I'm gonna do is convert it to a uh, conventional refrigerator what I'm gonna do is take out the board take it out and replace the the compressor with a conventional one and try to put a, a thermostat this is what I'm planning on doing let me show you real quick okay so I got here a diagram of a regular over common uh, domestic refrigerator this is gonna guide me through how to wire uh, the uh, convert it from digital where you have a board to just a regular conventional refrigerator and then here I got a scraper that I got from another refrigerator that has a door switch the the thermostat and then the defrost timer together with the that's the light so uh, I don't know if I'm gonna use this one to re to convert it or this other one this is another working one from a pool scrap refrigerator that has a the thermostat uh, this is a switch and uh, what is it called the uh, defrost timer okay so and uh, I have a compressor that I took from a shot a refrigerator that was had a leak a major leak so this compressor is working this is the R134 so this is what I'm planning on replacing I put those connections but I'll just I'll solder that to into the other other refrigerator and it has uh, working terminals I got uh, the hard wiring here so I tested it and it's working so that one's working that's the plug here that working so hopefully what I'm attempting to is replace the inverter compressor on that refrigerator and change it for this one and put a this part of a timer and defrost timer uh, into the refrigerator following these simple steps of uh, 
traditional wiring for a refrigerator so these are eight and I kind of already went through that uh, diagram into this uh, wiring so I got this one this is the only plug that I got and I uh, already found uh, which is which so I got this one the common is the black one and then uh, takes me to this brown one was goes to the defrost and the refrigerator and then uh, this is the red going to the compressor and to the fan this one the condenser fan and the evaporator fan so all those three and I, I got the earth here the green one uh, which one am I missing the blue one is the neutral so these two are go to the wall that's gonna go that these two are going to be connected to the wall outlet and that's uh, this part here so I'm just need to hard, um, connect the defrost uh, heaters and the fans and the so I can have a, and then the compressor here too I need a capacitor for my compressor and after that uh, so we have a we'll have a sealed system here and we, hopefully I, we have a, a working conventional refriger refrigerator in this expensive a refrigerator that I found that I'm not willing to spend the money on replacing it with uh, expensive boards or expensive compressors so I'll keep you posted right now I'm gonna try to attempt it and do it myself and let you know if I'm successful okay so this is what we're doing right now uh, we are retrofitting the compressor I used to cut the old compressor and uh, retrofitted this one in place I had to undo the pots for the old compressor because they were kind of uh, far apart and I welded uh, the post just like a fat, about uh, an inch or less three quarters so it would fit the this compressor uh, and then I I got the suction that one over there is a suction the low side and this is the high side and I also retrofitting it here with some old tubing copper that I had it's not the prettiest job but it's, it's going to work and I had an access here to the compressor and uh, that's gonna be well uh, soldered and that's going to be the filter dryer for the returning capillary tube which is here I just order it is coming out tomorrow and that's gonna be soldered together too and then uh, once that I'm gonna have to hard the wire that compressor for now to see if the system is uh, is leak is leaking or if it's working properly for now the board is uh, is in place you had a problem with a compressor starting the compressor and uh, had a problem with the upper fans in the refrigerator the lower fan this is a french door the freezer is in the bottom it's working for now so i'll see if it's if the plan on converting this uh, refrigerator to a conventional one will work by doing this and hardwiring the compressor filling it up with refrigerant art 134a and then running it to see that fan works too and the evaporator so we'll see uh, if the plan is working I'll keep you in right now posted thank you okay this is the update I've just finished uh, bracing the 
the filter and the compressor right now I've been testing for leaks and uh, with nitrogen it reads uh, 120 psi and it's been like that for a good 20 minutes so there's no leaks in my bracings right there the filter dryer they're not the prettiest uh, bracings but they don't leak anything okay so this is a conventional compressor that is being tested for leaks and now I'll do the vacuum pump to evacuate the system and ready for the refrigerant okay there's gonna be a part two so I don't oh no I don't want to make the video too long so make sure to follow to part two is base is actually almost always the right the the following one after this video please like though thank you